Hey everyone, welcome back to Adventures with Edna. I'm Chris. Chance has the weekend off, which is kind of unfortunate because this is our first official video from our new home. Um, some of you guys are wondering, why did we move? And there's a couple funny answers to that. Uh, first off, I did actually have somebody message me and assume that the YouTube channel is doing really well and we're making that YouTube money now. What? That is not the case. Uh, our channel is not yet monetized. Um, uh, so we're just working uh, hard to put out good content that you guys like to watch. Um, so why did we move? Well, it's funny you should ask. So we uh, were renting our apartment, uh, which is where all of our videos have happened. Uh, we've been there for the last five years, and uh, you guys may have noticed in some of the videos, there is a certain someone who is in the videos that we don't really interact with. Uh, that is Mary. Uh, Mary and I have been dating for a while now, and she bought her own home last year. Uh, so a special congratulations to her on being able to do that. Uh, but beside the fact that she bought her own home, she still spends most of her time at my apartment. Uh, so we finally came to the conclusion that it wasn't worth, uh, me continuing to rent and, uh, Basically, almost like the, between the two of us having uh, two different homes to pay for. Uh, so we took a giant leap. Um, anyway, uh, you guys have probably seen her in the videos. Uh, she helps out with a lot of stuff. Uh, she looks up some of the ideas on where we actually go for these videos. Uh, as far as like uh, she, we did the Hot Air Balloon Festival a few weeks ago. And you guys probably... Uh, Notice that she's in the video, but I don't really interact with her much. She does like being in the videos, uh, but she is a little bit camera shy where she's okay with being in them, but she doesn't really want to be uh, I don't know if you would say famous, uh, but anyway, uh, so she's, she'll be in the videos, uh, so we just kind of uh, sometimes cut out some parts and stuff like that, but she's actually been in the videos much, much longer and some people realized uh, over last year uh, when we drove to Kentucky uh, to get the transmission for Edna, which was the first one that I bought, uh, she was actually uh, the one who drove me there to get it. So she was in the video. Uh, she took a bunch of selfies with some of the old cars, which I thought was funny. Uh, but anyway, uh, so we have officially moved over here. We've got everything in the house now uh, for the most part, except for what's still in the bed here. And this is the stuff that was outside my apartment. And I don't really have a home for it yet. Uh, so we have two transmissions back here. I've got a jack back here. I've got both of Edna's spare tires back here. Uh, so there's a bunch of crap back here that needs to come out. And uh, I need to find somewhere for it to go. Uh, one issue that I'm having uh, so far is there is no shade out here. Uh, it gets, for being out in the country, you would think there'd be more shade, but, uh, the entire, just about the entire property for all the trees, uh, is out in the sun. So I might have issues with camera overheating. Um, I need to get a building because I also do my woodworking. So there's going to have to be that in the near future. Um. So, some things are still up in the air. Some things haven't been figured out yet, but we're still working on that. Um, anyway, uh, so as far as the move goes, uh, Edna did great. Um, in hindsight, it probably would have been cheaper to just rent a truck and try to do it all in one trip uh, for the amount of gas that we spent going back and forth between my apartment and the house because there's an 18-mile difference. Uh, so, that's almost 40 miles. Uh, to go there and back with each load in a car that only gets, or in a truck that only gets 10 miles to the gallon. Now, uh, there were some unfortunate things that happened. Uh, Edna ran like a top 
Uh, I didn't have any issues as far as running, uh, but the tailgate, as you guys may have seen in the shorts, did not survive. Uh, so I'm going to have to try to get that fixed very soon. Um, I have a friend, uh, Doug, who has offered to give me a hand on that. Uh, so we might try to take it over there sometime this week and see if we can get that um, repaired as opposed to having to get a whole new one. And then the other issue that we had was the window on this side. So we're going to take a quick look at that and see if we can fix it without having to buy anything because that would be nice. I knew that rubber band ball would come in handy someday. All right, so we're going to start by taking the panel off. Uh, if you didn't see the video earlier, it's not going all the way up. And it's making a lot of noise, and the glass has slipped out of the thing. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. So let's pull this panel off real quick and inspect. All right, I think I got it figured out already. Let's get in here. Hopefully we haven't damaged the glass. So it looks like what had happened was this little channel, where's the channel for the glass? The glass is supposed to be sitting much higher and in a channel that sits up here. Uh, but it looks like it's dropped below the channel and is actually sitting directly on the hinge. So that's bad. So let's see if we can get that out and get it back in. Feels like it's bent. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm not sure how well you can see that. But see, the glass is sitting right there, and it needs to go over some. But every time I try to move it, looks like this clip has come off, so it's probably in the bottom of the door. That's, that's not something you usually find inside your door. Odd. <laughs> All right, I found the clip, so let's put that back on. I wonder why that came off. Oh, I see part of the problem. It should be. It's out of the 
out of the track. So we're going to have to play with that a little bit. Let's take both of these clips out. Move, fool! Get on the window. Clips back on. We're in the tracks, so we should be able to roll it up and down. Da -da -da -da. All right, clips are back in. It's back in the tracks. It's always made that weird noise. I don't know why. Probably just old. Okay. Put the panel back on. <sighs> All right, I feel much better about that. <clears throat> Thank you, rubber band ball. All right, so we fixed the window. We're in the new home. We've had our first project here. It's official. We can call it home now. Uh, now we just need somebody to unload all this crap. Uh, anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was kind of a short one. Um, so we didn't get a chance to like really go anywhere. But that window needed to be fixed, and now the tailgate needs to be fixed. So... Stay tuned for that coming up in our next in a upcoming video. Uh, we'll see if we can record fixing that. Uh, that way, if anybody's having a similar problem, they can do the same. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.